four years ago today, I was in the White House with Donald Trump on election night. I was there standing next to one of his cabinet officials when Arizona was called for Joe Biden and when it became increasingly clear that he was going to lose. And I believed he deserved to lose that night. At that uh, point, I thought he hadn't fought to win the election. But I thought the next four years would be the Republican Party rebuilding and becoming something I could believe in and turning its, the page on Donald Trump. And it didn't do that. So this weekend on Saturday, for the first time in my life, I voted for a Democrat. Yes. I... I voted for Kamala Harris. Yes. I then voted down ballot for Republicans. Um, I consider my vote on loan to her. Um, I'm worried about the direction that Donald Trump will take this country, and I take my own warning seriously. What I saw is very real. I don't think, as somebody who's a, I'm a Christian, I'm an American, and I'm a Republican in that order, and I need somebody who shares my values. I need somebody who's a kind and decent person who will bring this country together. I don't agree with a lot of her policies. We can criticize those down the road, but today it's about a brighter future, and I think the best thing for the country and the future of the Republican Party is that Donald Trump lose and Kamala Harris is elected. <laughs>